Who here hasn't been to space? Why? <laughs> you better not throw up on my ship. Approaching jump in three, two, one. Uh, we've talked about Quantumania plenty of times. We've talked about it um, a lot lately. We talked about the plot leak. Um, we didn't really get to finish it, but we talked about the plot leak and everything's like that. Um, we've talked about um, casting, or not casting, uh, rumors of who's going to show up and who may, you know, like, as far as the Fantastic Four, post credit scenes, things like that. Mm -hmm. um, but Peyton Reed, director of the film, did an interview with Entertainment <coughs> Weekly, um, and they were just asking him, uh, so it came out, and this is, again, this is coming from MovieWeb as well. MovieWeb had this to say, they said, uh, Reed insisted that the three will be just as significant as any of the Avengers uh, Avengers adventures. He said people felt like, oh, these are fun little these are fun little palate cleansers after a gigantic Avengers movie for the third one. I said, I don't want to be a palate cleanser anymore. I want to be the big Avengers movie. Uh, then uh, Entertainment Weekly asked him whether he had gone so far as to kick in Kevin Feige's office door in order to demand that Ant-Man Ant -Man was no longer the fluff piece after the big event. Reed replied, I did. I, metaphor I metaphorically kicked in Kevin Feige's door. Um, clearly such an approach worked with Ant-Man Ant and the Wasp Quantumania all set to introduce the next Avengers level threat to the Marvel Cinematic Universe, Jonathan Majors, time-traveling universe, hopping villain King the Conqueror. Not only that, Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania will also introduce a character who is expected to play a major part on the hero's side, Scott Lang's daughter Cassie. Now now older and played by played by freaky star uh, Catherine New Newton. Yeah, Newton. Uh, Cassie Lang will don her own super suit during the events of Quantumania. Check out a new image of Scott and Cassie. Um, so yeah, like I said, we've talked about Ant-Man and the Wasp quite a bit. We've talked about uh, Phase 5 being the course correction for Phase 4 and how hopeful uh, I am in Quantumania doing that. And again, my when I talk about Quantumania, every single time we talk about Quantumania, my hope doesn't... It, it comes from the trailer that has not been seen by the masses. And um, I say that just because in order for this film to... This film, this film is pivotal, and we've said this too. This film is pivotal to what is going to be going on in phases in in the in the multiversal saga up until secret wars because phase four as we've talked about did not show us anything for anything of what we're leading to and i think that's been most people's gripe with phase four you know as far as the fatigue goes and as far as like a no no clear direction now we know that we're getting to king we just don't know how we're getting there mm -hmm. and um we know that kevin feige came out before sdcc i believe it was and said that It'll all be made clear soon. And I believe that soon is Quantumania. I think Quantumania has to be that pivotal yes. film that pushes forward what we're going to be doing in the MCU. And I think it. I think it's also going to be, in order for it to be Avengers level, because this film, you're building your big bad. Yeah. You're building your Thanos. You're building, you know, well, your next level, big level threat for the Avengers. And you, we can't go in assuming that everybody's seen Loki. We've had conversations like that about right, Phase 4, too. Right. I have people that I work with that are like, I stopped watching Marvel films after Endgame because it got scary. It's there's I have to I don't know this character. I have to watch this to understand. We've mm -hmm. talked about it all. Yeah, okay. People that aren't mass fans like that, the regular yeah. moviegoers, the people, these are the same people, though, that still went and saw No Way Home. That, you yes. know, it, these, these are, are the casual, people that get the billion right, dollar. Right. Uh, They'll go to those type profits. of films. Yes, exactly. They go yeah. to those. So <clears throat> it's like, you know, these are those type of guys that are doing that. So it's like, we can't assume everybody watched Loki. So not everybody even knows who Kang the Conqueror is. People might have heard if maybe because it's, his name was not mentioned outside of Loki in Phase 4. I could be wrong. Nope. Only Loki. Okay, I thought so. Only Loki. His name was not mentioned so it's not as if Kang's on the even the normal viewers that viewed Moon Knight, Miss Marvel, Falcon and Soldier X, Y, and Z. His because they don't know who he is, right. so they're not. They're, it's not like he's being talked about. Like, oh, the next villain is is from Thanos. Is is this mm. guy named Kang? And so the regular fans aren't talking about that. So this film has to build that suspense. It has to be that fine. I'll do it myself moment. Yes. It has yes, to 100%. be that huge. Mm -hmm. You've got to make Kang terrifying. Yes. You have to make fans feel the way we felt after Infinity War. Yes. 
after that post credit scene yep. in Infinity War, where you know we saw Captain Marvel's uh, logo, but even before mm -hmm. that, after all the after after they all disappeared and were dusted, just that music there. when like, yeah. Captain America is sitting there on the ground and then they're exactly. like, That's, lost. Yeah, 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 and lost. yeah, exactly. Yeah. That feeling. Mm -hmm. People, we need to feel like that after this because Kang, from what we've read in the plot leaks, is gonna whoop Scott's ass. Yeah. And also, we also know that, and let me go ahead and do this too, because even when I like, when I do, when I set up the bios for the the stream, mm -hmm. anytime that Ant-Man and Wasp is talked about on, when we talk about it, I try to do hashtag, when I'm putting the hashtags in, I try to put Jonathan Majors in. His name didn't even pop up. Like it's, so I want to go ahead and give Jonathan Majors his fucking flowers now. Yeah. Because Jonathan Majors is a good actor. Now, Devotion mm -hmm. that he just did, um... I've not seen it, but I heard that it's not doing good in the box office. But that's okay. And, and the reason I say that that's okay is because he's got Creed. That's yeah. in 2020. That's 2023, right? right. Yep. Mm -hmm. Beginning, I think. Yeah. yeah. You Pretty got right. Creed 3 coming out. When we know what we saw the trailer. The trailer's great. Mm -hmm. Things that, you know, that that's going to boost him even more. Mm -hmm. Does Ant-Man come out before it? Nope. No? Okay. I then, don't think so. Then you will see, then fans are going to see him in Ant-Man Yep. Uh, three, a Marvel film. And then after uh, well, seeing him in that Marvel back. film, I think after he plays Kang, because it's not the only time we're going to see him as Kang, right. but after he plays Kang in this, that's going to boost who Jonathan Majors is. So I want to, yeah, I want to go ahead and give Jonathan Majors his flowers now. Um, but again, <laughs> if this is true, and all these things that are going on with, uh, with Quantumania and... Uh, it being a Avengers level film, you have to you have to hype Kane. You yeah. have to put your focus on Kane. Yeah, you've got to build him too. I can't find yeah. a date since they pushed it back. Oh, they pushed March third now. Okay, so it is after Quantum Mania. Fine, that's still fine. It's a Marvel film, and I think that this is going to be a hype Marvel film as well. I think as we get closer to it, here's what it's going to happen. The first trailer that fans saw, it was good. It was a good first trailer. Mm -hmm. Wasn't the one I was expecting, but it was Quantum Mania's first. Oh, Quantum Mania is February first. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, that's what I was thinking. Yeah. Um. Once that second trailer comes out, I think the tone of Kang will be felt by the masses. Yeah. Because if it's the trailer, the trailer, the whole you know silent music walking up to Scott. Mm -hmm. Have I killed? Yeah. Like chill out, buddy. I'm an, I'm an Avenger. You know, have I, have I killed you before? Yeah. Um. I can't wait to see that shit though, for real. Yeah, uh, yeah. If 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 that's the tone that is set in the next trailer, that terrifying tone, that that suspenseful tone, that that puts you on the edge of a cliff, like what's gonna happen to Scott and why mm -hmm. did he say he's killed Avengers before? That's gonna get asses in the seats. Oh yeah. Um, and we know that we're getting, you know, one of the things we talked about at the end of this film too. The end of this film. It's going to leave in kind of like an Avengers Infinity... Well, not an Avengers Infinity... Well, kind of. Because we know yeah. that Hope... It's everybody stuck, yeah. everybody besides Cassie, I believe, yep. stays stuck, stuck in the quantum realm. Um, and if, that is, if that's true, from what we also read in that plot leak, is that Cassie's working on some, some device. I don't remember exactly what it was. Working on some device, but then she gasps because of what she sees. It's not like a gasp of like, oh, Eureka, I actually I discovered something. No, it's like a what the fuck, like in the I'm beginning. scared. Like she oh, yeah, she's worked, box. Yeah, she works, yeah, she's working on like yeah. a device to be able to go into the quantum realm whenever, mm -hmm. yeah. come out whenever. Okay, so that's probably the device she's working on in that scene at the end, where she's working on that. But whatever she sees... It scares her, and then yeah. end credits. Probably in the K. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> well, because like, well, keep, keep in mind too, like Michelle Pfeiffer when she's like, "Wait, you're doing what?" And then it goes off in that trailer because she's spent all that time in the right. quantum realm, and she knows about K. Right. You know, and she realizes that they're sending that signal. Ah, uh, I just got to read that DJF and the Super Bowl is coming, so Quantum Mania will be promoted. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, that's yes. true, too. Yep. I'm yeah, glad that's true, too. Yeah. That's true. Whatever Marvel movie comes out around that time, that you know, they're going to have a little TV spot. That cause it's yep. true. That is very <laughs> true. Um, and as soon as that trailer goes up. Boy. Boy. That is the and nation. And I guarantee you, that's why they <laughs> saved that 
right. what they showed everybody yes. at D23. Yes, that makes because sense. It's a scarier, it's, because remember, when we first saw it, I was Even like, the leaked trailer, we were like, mm-hmm. what the yeah. fuck? Yeah. Yeah. Is, yeah. Is, is, is Paul Rudd beat the fuck up? Is yeah. He, like, yeah. Which king is that? Like, we, had, we had questions just based off the tone of the leak, because we couldn't really even see it in the first one we saw and everything, so it was kind of just like, mm-hmm. we're going off dialogue and tone, and it was just like, we know right. this last trailer, like the official one they released, was just the cinematography one. Let's promote the uh, quantum realm. Let's promote Kang the army and everything like that. Let's just show off how. Because I mean, we anytime films go off and show like anywhere that's not Earth, like when they go off and show like how they're about to go show the quantum realm and everything, they do good cin- uh, with the CGI and everything. So I'm sure the film would be beautiful. Mm-hmm. It's just. That's like you said. That second trailer, whenever it's not to sit for cinema targets to get asses in the seats, like this is the trailer. Like, come watch this yeah. movie because th- this is why. Like, this is mm-hmm. to come like get you in the the seat and everything. And so, I just think that they save that for a specific reason, and it's just because there's so much going on right now. It's like it's yeah. kind of forget. Like you can forget. Like, hey, well, this movie comes out then and there this comes out then so it's like it's a good reminder to have that in february like that good trailer right before the movie comes out dude yeah. and also to piggyback on what you were saying because i i completely agree i think this is going to be jonathan majors coming out party like I, I he came on my radar when i was watching lovecraft country really for me but like he's too, yeah. yeah he's i think this is where he fuck what tarantino was saying that the mcu doesn't make movie stars the MCU is about to make a movie star that and Creed because actually he has the potential to have two mm. trailers during the Super Bowl. That's true. Those are two huge blockbuster movies. That's why I say give the man his fucking He is now. jacked. He is a great actor. <laughs> He's got good range. But I mean, come on, look at that man. Yeah. Look at that dude. Like, come on, you think, you think that that's. I guarantee you, he's going to have this. He's going to have this year where he plays Kang in multiple movies, going to mm. be in Creed. How long before he's People's Magazine sexiest man alive? Yeah, it's yeah. Michael B. Jordan. <laughs> yeah, as like as I said, I you know, you know I, I think this um, really launches him. Oh yeah, 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 for sure, for sure. Um, I also think that you know with that because after we saw the first trailer, I said after we watched it, <coughs> I, I remember saying <coughs> that Excuse that wasn't Thank what you. I expected. Because, mm-hmm. you know, I expected, I was hyped for that, but I wanted to see it for real. But I, again, I think once that's the trailer that's shown, I think people are going to realize Kang's not to be fucking trifled with. Yeah, it's going to set that uh, tone. Yeah, it's going to sure. set that tone for sure for Kang. Um, but yeah, I, I'm, I think it's, I think it's going to be, if, if you, if, if, if you put your focus on Kang and things like that, it is going to be that Avengers level. It is, well, not even just that, not just putting your focus on Kang with the storyline and even ending it with that end, ending credits with Cassie gasping in fear mm-hmm. and we don't know what she's seen and knowing and still knowing as the audience hope and and uh Hank and and Janet and uh mm-hmm. hope or Scott Scott are mm-hmm. still stuck in the quantum realm yeah and we're it's like well what what's going to happen with them you know blah 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 and if the rumors are true we're going to see them come out of the quantum realm with the four the fantastic and, four yes, yes fantastic four yeah, exactly. and uh Kang Dynasty. Yes. And plus, we'll see the Fantastic Four in that post credit scene if that shit's yes. true, too. So, Which is crazy. The internet's going to go off. <laughs> yeah. 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 I yeah. don't expect much. Let's, oh, no. Let's yeah. go ahead and yeah, yeah, just yeah, like yeah, where yeah. we were going yeah. to go. Uh, like, like we were talking about earlier in the stream already. Like, when you know, we just take the MCU for what it is. Yeah. yeah. Uh, definitely temper expectations. Take all of that with a grain of salt. Uh, for sure, um, but you know uh, that that's what Peyton Reed had to say about that. But as always, question is for you guys. Let us know down below in the comments what you guys are thinking. Are you um, thinking that this Quantumania has the potential to be an Avengers level film? Uh, you guys have been here with us. We you've heard the leaks, you've heard the rumors. Do you think from the leaks and rumors that this has what it takes to be that type of film? And do you think that it has to be? that type of film to set forth what's going on in phase five to set forth a clear understanding of where we're going in phase five so let's know all those things down below in the comments